All right, I'm the Fly Red Master, and today we're going to talk about performance punishment. Now, this is a big problem, especially when it comes to flat rate, but also to hourly salary techs as well. You get you get punished for being good at stuff. And what I mean by that is, you know, as a diagnostic guy, oh, I'm good at diagnostics. Okay, he gets all the diagnostics, which I'm fine with. The problem is, is you guys work in a shop that doesn't properly bill for diagnostics or that's all you're getting. Nobody's buying anything and you're getting every nightmare car from the county, city, whatever. It can be a frustrating thing for a diagnostic guy. You don't get to see the fix. You don't make that much money if you're flat rate because you're just getting the hour, maybe hour and a half. If they're not billing properly, you might get nothing. Been there, done that. You know, we've all been there. Oh, well, they're they're fixing it, so you're not getting that hour. And it comes in other ways as well. You get penalized if you're good at heavy line work. You know, you may be like me. I hate heavy line work. It's just tedious, strenuous work that really ultimately on flat rate doesn't pay really that well. But like all of a sudden, every possible heavy line job just seems to come your way because they know you can do it and they can do it fast. Now break a bunch of stuff. And all of a sudden you're sitting in there day after day, hurting yourself, doing heavy line. You're not getting any of the, you know, ball joints or break jobs, or you're just getting burned out. That's the other thing that a lot of people don't talk about is I hate monotony in my job. I hate if, you know, like I could make bank just doing break jobs all day long. I would be absolutely bored to snot doing break jobs every day. Just would be. There's no way around that. And for me, it would just be tedious work. And that can happen when it comes to, you know, performance punishment. I know it's a, you know, I made up term I just made. So let's go the other way. Let's talk that young kid that comes in. He's real enthusiastic. He wants to learn about everything. And they find out he's good at brake jobs and brake flushes and coolant services and real basic, basic stuff. So they just keep hammering him on the gravy stuff that is great for his pocketbook if he's flat rate. But when it comes down to him learning, you know, the industry and expanding his skills, his focus becomes so narrow that he literally learns nothing. He does break jobs and ball joints and all the basic stuff. And he's sitting over there looking at, you know, the, the ATEX doing diagnostics. And he's like, I really want to do that, but I can't, you know, they don't ever give him anything electrical because they found he's good at those and he can knock them out quick. So they just keep hammering him over and over again with basic stuff. Unfortunately, it's way too common of a problem in our industry where that's how it happens. You know, everybody gets put in a niche, you know, dealerships are the worst about that because all of a sudden that guy will become a transmission guy. That'll be the heavy line guy. That'll be the dash guy. And you may not have chosen any of that, but all of a sudden that's what you're forced onto. And that happens in the aftermarket as well. You wind up just stuck in a niche and you're kind of stuck. The only way to get out of it is usually wind up changing shops because they're making bank on you. If they found something you're good at, whether or not you enjoy it or whether or not you want to do it day to day, they'll just keep throwing that stuff at you and, well, you burn out. If you're a shop owner, you got to mix it up. You can't just keep hammering them with the same stuff. If they love it, if they love heavy line, diagnostics, or whatever it is, hammer on. But if you talk to them, and you should talk to them, they don't, you know, like, I hate doing dash work but you give me all the dash work. Maybe you ought to change it up a little bit. Yeah, he may be good at dash work, but if you don't enjoy it, throw him a little variety because <laughs> variety is the spice of life, as they say. So I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, thanks for watching. I am the Flat Raid Master.